I am here today, and the content that I will be testifying to all of you is what I have seen, what I have heard, and what I have been commanded to speak from Jesus. Jesus, just like He spoke through His disciples, and through His disciples, the gospel of the kingdom of heaven was testified to the ends of the earth. And He says, once it does, the end will come. That end has now come. The word that has been fulfilled was testified as a gospel by Jesus as a prophecy for the past 2,000 years. I am here to testify that that prophecy has been fulfilled in Korea, in South Korea. And I am here to testify to what I have seen and heard because I was at the location of fulfillment. So I am here to testify according to what I was commanded to speak, which is why I am standing here. You know, as you know, when we attend churches, we all have pastors there. But I am not just a general pastor. Just like what was spoken before, I am here to testify to the words of Jesus. And not only that, but once Jesus fulfills His promises, He desires to make that known to all churches, and I am a messenger sent to testify on behalf of that. This is a work where God's promises are being fulfilled. So please examine it, confirm it, believe it, and fulfill salvation in your life. I fervently desire. <laughs> I'm truly someone who does not have anything to boast about. But I am someone who has seen and heard the events of Revelation. I was even commanded by Christ to tell them, tell everyone, whether they listen or whether they fail to listen. According to the scriptures, who am I? Truly, have I been according to the scripture, been created according to what God has promised. I hope that it's a time that we can think about this. We have a coming one who will fulfill our appointed task. Religion is a key agenda of the Warp Summit. It is because the religious world is one of the biggest building blocks for the world of peace and the cessation of war. All of us here have acknowledged Chairman Man Hee Lee of HWPL that the work he is doing is the answer for peace and that he is a great man leading mankind to salvation. I don't think I need to plead for action anymore. But I would like to share a few things on what kind of person Mr. Lee is. Peace Messenger Mr. Man Hee Lee, Chairman of HWPL, 
was born of the light of heaven in the Far East. He went up to heaven and received orders from heaven. He received the hidden manna, the white stone, and the scepter. He is the one who works with the open scroll he received, the only light of the East. This is a man who sacrificed everything, his whole life to bring life and to fight wars and the evil in our world. All the persecution and false accusations did not stop him, and he overcame all hardships to pass on peace. The answer for peace that Mr. Lee gives is the truth. The truth is the food of life for everyone across time. Leaders of religions, let us learn the will of the Creator, the source of peace from the peace messenger, Mr. Man He Lee of HWPL. Our efforts for the Alliance of Religion have been consistent since the 2014 Warp Summit. As all of you have told us, the Warp Office is bringing the religious community together and tearing down the wall of bias. Leaders of the religious community, let us join as one through peace and return religion to its original owner, God. World peace starts from the alliance of religions. And you who promote heavenly peace alongside Mr. Lee are the light of our time. If you are in darkness, the future of mankind is dark. Darkness can never overcome light. Let us become the messengers of light, messengers of peace and give a peaceful world as a legacy to our future generations. Thank you. God, who is the very source of peace, Mr. Mon He Lee, who brings the answer for peace, and IWPG and IPYG, which are the ingredients for peace. Because Mr. Lee, has been led by the heavens throughout his days. His yearning for peace moved the heavens and led to the declaration of world peace. When light meets light, there is victory. We are one! Because Mr. Lee has given his whole life for the work of peace, the young generation named him the Father of Peace. The former and current heads of state call him the President of Heaven who promotes heavenly culture. NGO leaders at the UN recognize Mr. Lee as a leader, not of the UN on the earth, but of the heavenly culture of peace. A member of the HWPL Peace Advocacy Committee gave a presentation on the outcome of a peace event that was held in Malaysia. Moved by HWPL's passion and dedication, she decided to arrange this event. I believe the DPCW is the solution to world peace. Do you?
So I am not alone in this belief. The overwhelming support from everyone from, of all cultures and religions all over the world is proof of this. This year in May, we held a peace carnival where our royal prince and our city mayor led 650 participants in a peace walk to celebrate unity and harmony in our multiracial society. And it also enhanced our image of our city as a city of peace. My future plan? It will be to set up an IWPG Malaysia branch as a registered organisation so that we can work together with HWPL Malaysia to collaborate with governmental and non-governmental organisations to promote the DPCW through various peace activities for women, youth and children in my country. <laughs>